Hey there, tech enthusiasts and cybersecurity warriors. Welcome back to my channel, where we break down complex IT concepts into bite-sized, easy-to-digest pieces. Today we're talking about something fundamental. Public IP addresses versus private IP addresses. These little numbers control how devices communicate on the internet and your network. Let's dive right in. First, what even is an IP address? Think of it like your home address, but for your devices. It tells the network where to send data, like Netflix streaming your favorite show or your browser loading this very YouTube page. Now these addresses come in two flavors, public and private. Let's break them down. A public IP address is unique. It's assigned to your device by your Internet Service Provider, or ISP. This is the address the entire Internet uses to find and connect to you. Think of it as the one address the world sees. If you're hosting a website or gaming server, this is the IP that other people use to connect with you directly. But there's a downside. Public IPs are exposed to the Internet. This makes them a prime target for hackers or anyone scanning for vulnerable devices. That's where cybersecurity comes in. Now let's look at private IP address. Private IP addresses, on the other hand, are like room numbers inside your house. These are only used within your local network, like your home Wi-Fi or your office LAN. They're assigned by your router using something called DHCP, and they're not visible to the Internet. Since private IPs are isolated, they add an extra layer of security. Hackers can't directly target your private devices without first breaching your router, which acts as the gatekeeper. Why do we need both? Now you might be wondering, why do we even need two types? Well, imagine if every smart fridge, TV, and smartphone had a unique public IP. Chaos! We'd run out of addresses. Private IPs help us conserve those limited public IPs, thanks to a nifty trick called NAT or Network Address Translation. Your router uses NAT to translate private IP traffic into public IP traffic and vice versa. All right, here's the cheat sheet. Public IP addresses are globally unique and exposed to the Internet. Private IP addresses are local, used within your network, and add a layer of security. They work together through NAT to make the Internet efficient and scalable. And that's a wrap on public versus private IPs. If you found this helpful, smash that like button, subscribe for more cybersecurity and IT content, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss a thing. Got questions or suggestions for future topics? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe out there.